time, it's beer time with Beer Man. How's it going, everyone? How you guys doing tonight? Today, wherever you're from, in this beautiful world. All right, well, to start out, uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, and hit the bell. You'll be notified when I have new shows up. And on your way out, please hit that like button and share this out to your communities, if you can, if you will, if you may. All right, thanks a lot. Um, so, I got this one at Bridge and Tunnel Bottle Shop uh, in Astoria, Oregon. I like to go here. He's got, they've got quite of, um, he's got quite a selection. Uh, of really good uh, beers that I sometimes can't find other places so um, this one's from Fort George Brewery out of Astoria Oregon as well it's called the Funky Buddy and it's a gin barrel aged uh, mixed culture spruce saison uh, farmhouse ale I guess 6.2% uh, ABV no IBUs listed and I don't know what a date is it's their Sweet Virginia series. It's a brewer developed series named after our small batch 8.5 barrel brew house. Um, yeah, I don't. These guys have some great food, actually. It's a 2020. So it's fairly. I don't. I, it's, I guess, a little younger than I thought. I thought it would be at least a year old or something. But um, they do have a whole big barrel section. Uh, in a big huge building I think that used to be a car dealership or something but um, it's pretty cool but anyway um so let's go ahead and uh, and get this opened up and um, we'll go ahead and do this Some water vapors on the top of that bottle so this is a uh, this was about a ten dollar twelve dollar bottle something like that I think I forgot um, one pint, no, point nine fluid ounces. So, <sighs> yeah. So, cool. Let's go ahead and pour this. Wowzers! Ooh, ooh, gin, pine, juniper. Oh, ooh. I really get a lot. Of that. There, this smells like alcohol or something. Mixed cold. I'm looking at the spruce saison, so it's that spruce getting that uh, sprucey pininess or uh, um, the spruce tips. They have a lot of spruce tips here that I used to. I put one in a beer one time, uh, compensated the hops for the bitterness of those. Put in a real nice vitamin C kick, I guess. But it was a it was an interesting beverage. Um, but this has spruce uh, in the saison as well. And in uh, juniper, or let's say uh, gin barrels, uh, so juniper uh, forward. <laughs> Whoa, it's actually very balanced. Uh, it's got quite a nice um, feel to it in the nose. It's got a real nice expression coming out of it. Very nice. Um, it's very uh, kind of an apple cider, even an apple cider vinegar kind of coming out through it. I get apples though, apples, vinegar, apples. Um, kind of a, a wild uh, yeasty sensation to it in the nose okay let's look at it it's a golden color a nice golden color and it's got uh, not very effervescent just uh, f uh, medium fast rising bubbles uh, lacing's already started and it has a white head it poured it about a about a finger head and kind of went down but it's keeping uh, retentions really nice it's keeping a nice little bit of retend uh, re uh, good um, good foam there at the top there um, it's not going away, so that's that's good. That's nice. It looks pretty. Very pretty beer. Very pretty beer. Um, a little bit dull, not so hazy. You can see through it. Uh, let's go ahead and drink this. Cheers. Mm. It's it's actually very uh, well rounded. It it tastes kind of like a like a brute champagne. It's kind of uh, viny. Uh, grape like and uh, white grapes let's say and also has a kind of a cider or like a, an apple like feel to it as well like an apple cider uh, vinegar it has kind of a tart uh, acid, maybe an acetaldehyde or, or kind of a no uh, just kind of a a real puckery feel in the back 
of the mouth um, going down. It has kind of a, I'm getting, weirdly enough, I'm getting waffle cones. Uh, like that bready, waffly, butter, sweet, doughy, like waffly cone th uh, uh, feel in the back. Uh, it's kind of a smooth drink. It's drinkable for sure. It's very interesting. It's got a lot of different uh, textures and feelings to it, it, it in the mouth, like all over the place. Best sold. I, I would drink this cold. It does have that bitter, brute like champagne or a dry wine kind of feel or effect in the back. It dries off fairly quick too. Kind of a, a vitamin C, like you just chewed on some vitamin C tablets or took down some vitamin C powder or, or a, like a sour water, vitamin C water or orange. I get maybe a little slight tangerine or something in this. It's weird. All over the palate shoots this nice wet, uh, thirst quenching kind of, it's a very good date, oh great, great beer for after uh, doing a lawn man seriously this is a good hot day beer very nice that gin really comes through the juniper uh, and then the pine like the um, the spruce tips and stuff really kind of shine through but it's got such a nice well-rounded feel to it um, the body is is a, a kind of a, a medium light body uh, it's a wet feel on the mouth until it dries off um, you would have never known it. Having this, it looks like a, it looks kind of like a pilsner or something, or it looks, you know, just something around that nature. Like it doesn't have a lot of taste, but you actually taste this, and it's like, whoa, it's explosive. So drinkable, yes. I would definitely get another bottle of this if I could find it. It was in a, a case box they was selling on the counter, so I just went ahead and picked it up because it looked interesting. Um, very awesome. I'm really enjoying this. Um, the 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 the, the mouthfeel is is very light though and kind of crisp and uh, just has a nice feel to it. It goes down so smooth in that cone, that vanilla waffle cone or something. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, cool. So uh, out of five hops, man, I don't get a lot of hops either. It's not maybe a little bit of like a floral kind of hop in the back or something. Uh, a little piney feel to it as well. Out of five hops, I would give this uh, 4.25 hops. I think it's uh, A range, definitely A range quality, very good beer. I totally would love to find another bottle of this. So I'm, I'm gonna look for some more of their exclusive ones uh, that they have out. Their bar is amazing. They've got a great uh, brew pub area facility to eat and drink in. Uh, very cool. It's got you can go on tours on the other side. They have another bar that has all this exclusive beer, probably where this is. Uh, where it has all the stuff they don't sell in the normal and the stuff they don't sell out in the stores and all that. Yeah, you can go and taste those. A little expensive, six, six to eight, nine bucks sometimes on a, for a beer. Um, but um, I, at least that's what I saw. But anyway, um, awesome. You guys take it easy. Take care. Have a good Sunday. And uh, be safe. Cheers. All right.